YouTube has bought Indian social commerce company SimSim to help small businesses get customers. This is in line with other Indian investments made by parent Google, like the approximate 75,000 crore rupees India Digitization Fund. Amid a rise in demand for startups' shares, stock exchange Nasdaq is turning its marketplace for private companies' shares into a separate business. It will get funds from banks like Citigroup and Goldman. Auto giant Toyota, a top sponsor for the Tokyo Olympics, is pulling out all its Olympics-related TV ads in Japan. The move reflects lack of support for the event amid a rise in COVID cases. The centre has issued new rules for vintage vehicles in a bid to preserve their heritage. Only more than 50-year-old bikes and cars with no substantial changes are eligible for vintage registration.